young adults. Thank you for walking me home, Josh. Good night. Well, Josh, I guess I don't have to ask how your evening went. Oliver, that cousin of yours is a real firebrand. You wouldn't believe the party she dragged me to. Music blaring, party? wild dancing. Lord knows where the parents were. Gee, nobody told me about any party. For the life of me, I can't fathom why she wanted to go there in the first place. To have fun. Fun! It means not planning every single microsecond of every minute of the day. Fun! It's a noun! It means to cut loose, party, kick up your heels! I know! Square dance lessons! No! I can't believe nobody invited me to the party. I'll go square dancing with you, Josh. Kevin, it's way past your bedtime. Why don't you go upstairs and go to sleep? You're not my babysitter. Move it or I'll tell Grandma how that frog got in her underwear drawer. Go! Kelly, can we discuss this more I don't want to discuss anything. Excuse me. Kelly, we need... Excuse me. What do you want? Well, actually, I, I thought as long as I was done babysitting, you might tell me where that party is. What do I look like? Your social director? Get out of here. I don't get it. We have all the same friends. I got my braces off. <laughs> Good night. Kelly, is there something bothering you? Josh, let's talk. Josh, sit down. After you. Josh, please. I insist. Sit! <laughs> I'm not real good at saying things like this. You see, you came into my life right after I broke up with Duffy. Every time I think of you with that hooligan, it makes me want to wretch. Josh, please. So there I was, crying myself to sleep every night, when who should call but this sweet guy with good skin and a chest full of merit badges. So we go skating a few times, and the next thing I know, you've put my albums in alphabetical order, and you're out shopping for an adjustable rate mortgage. <laughs> it's all happening too fast. Kelly, is this one of those conversations that ends with, we can still be friends? I'm afraid so. Darn it! I don't want to be your friend. I want to be your man. Aren't I good enough for you? You're perfect. You're too perfect. I can change. I'll become slovenly, cynical. I won't take an interest in the world around me. Just, just name it. Josh, it's not you. It's me. See, I'm never going to be in eighth grade again. I just don't want to be tied down. Ouch. Well, guess I better be on my way. I'll need plenty of rest if I'm going to have to rebuild my entire life in the morning. Josh, I'm sorry it had to be like this. Nobody ever walked me to school every day like you. Even that week you had knee surgery. That was a pretty good game. Hey, yeah, your backhand's getting better. I think so. Not Hi, bad. Josh. Home so soon? <laughs> Another one bites the dust. My dad. Hate it. Just don't worry about it. Luke doesn't know what hurt him. That's true. Freddie, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'm filling in for Kip. He's got a hot date and I got a rent payment due. Your father charges you rent? Actually, it's quite reasonable. Though the uh, cleaning deposit's a bit steep. Oh, have you ever met my friend Chloe? Hi, Chloe. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Freddie. <laughs> hey, what's with all the war paint? 
I haven't seen lips that color since we went skating and Mr. Rutherford fell through the ice. <laughs> well, everyone better get ready for a new Kelly. That's right, because the post-Josh era has officially begun. What? You and Josh estranged? But still, it must be hard to part company with the first scout to ever win a merit badge in urban planning. Freddy, just bring me some chili fries and two Cokes and hold the sarcasm. As you wish, but the sarcasm is excellent today. <laughs> Kelly, you never told me if I was such a dreamsicle. What do you like better, that winsome smile or those cute little buns? Chloe, he's almost like a brother to me. Besides, I don't go around checking out guys, you know what? What are you looking for in a boy? Blank conversation? <laughs> hey, Vince, you want something else? Perhaps something from our pastry cart? No, but you can tell me who that chick is at the end of the counter. That dirty blonde? Negative, man. The cute little number with the purple lips. What do you know about her? Plenty. She's Kip Cleaver's cousin. Eureka! So, uh, I was about to set up a little intro for your old classmate, Vince. Having makeup gym together doesn't make us classmates. Besides, she's in the eighth grade. So? I'm not looking for brilliant conversation. Young man, young man, you made a mistake on my check. That's highly unlikely, ma'am. <laughs> Kelly, don't look. At what? At that hunk eyeballing me. He is. He's much older than I am. There'll be problems at first, but we'll weather them. <laughs> oh my God, here he comes. Oh. You're Kip Cleaver's cousin, huh? Me? Yeah, old Kip and I are on the soccer team together. I'm the goalie, Vince Kerr. Oh, I saw you play last week. Your nose looks much better. Thanks. <laughs> Drop the keys to my Mustang. Oh, wow. I had the same thing last week, and it wasn't that much. Well, I took the liberty of adding a 20% gratuity for the excellent service. Well, that's outrageous. So's my cleaning deposit. Now, wait, young man. I've been all over the world, and I have never been treated like this. I've been to London, Paris, Rio, Hungary, Hong Kong, Spain, Greece, Budapest, yeah. and Miami yeah, Beach, that's and great. I've been treated like royalty. Beaver, thanks for helping out. Kids at Children's Hospital really got a kick out of you. I got a kick out of them, too. <laughs> Wish I didn't have to take that flu shot to show them it didn't hurt. Poor baby. I don't know why feet are killing me. <sighs> Come in. Mr. Cleaver, I presume. <laughs> I'm in need of a mature opinion, which naturally eliminates my father. I'm $20 in arrears with your brother, so that leaves you. I'm overwhelmed. What's your problem? Well, sir, I... What if someone, um, were up? Well, actually, sir, it's, it's rather difficult to talk to you like this. Does this help? Not really. But let's press on anyway. Uh, let's suppose there's someone whom one has more than a passing interest in. And let's suppose that this someone is doing something to someone that isn't right for someone. Let me get this straight. Someone is seeing someone, and you don't think they're right for that person. Uh, not me, just someone. Freddy, if Kip were someone, would you tell me? Certainly, sir. Is Kip someone? Which someone? Uh, never mind. What I think is that someone A should tell someone B that they're not right for someone C. But what if someone A told someone B and someone A said buzz off? Buzz off A or buzz off B? A. Freddie, I think that you or, or someone has uh, done just about everything they can. Sometimes people just have to learn things the hard way. Thank you for your invaluable assistance, sir. I don't understand why everybody says you're incapable of grasping complicated problems. <laughs> Kelly, don't forget, this weekend's the Rutherford's annual luau. Oh, Dad, do I have to? I mean, who wants to watch Mr. Rutherford do the hula? No one, dear. But they paid a lot of money for that pig pit, and they want to get some use out of it. But I saw I already made plans for Saturday. Someone. Well, the luau's Friday night. Oh, good. So, Kelly, this someone that you made plans with wouldn't happen to be Josh, would it? No. Nope. Someone new? Yep. 
Do we know who he is? Mom, this is about the best roasty sandwich you've ever made. Kelly, who is this boy? Well, his name is Vince. He's 16 years old. He got his own car and cute buns. I heard her talking all about him on the telephone. <laughs> Oh, right. Kelly, now, come on, take it easy, guys. Wait. Now, wait a minute. Kelly. Kelly, sit down. Going out with a 16-year-old boy? Don't you think that's something that your mother and I have a right to know about? Well, I was going to tell you. Eventually. When? Afterwards? Honey, I thought we had the kind of relationship where you didn't have to go around hiding things from us. I wanted to tell you. But I figured if I did, you'd say he was too old and you wouldn't let me go. Kelly, honey, I know that it's hard for you to understand some of the decisions we make, but you've got to trust us. One thing we want more than anything else in the whole world is for you to be happy. Yeah, give us a little credit. Who knows, we might surprise you sometimes. Does this mean I can go out with Vince? Over our dead bodies. <laughs> Grandma, just talk to them. Remind them how Grandpa Ward was older than you. You're my last hope. Kelly, I can't tell your father what to do. Sure you can. Remember when Kevin was born and he wanted to name him Corky? <laughs> Please, for your only granddaughter? Honey, you know how people gobble down their Thanksgiving dinner as though there's no tomorrow, and then afterwards they lie around and groan because they ate too fast? Yeah, especially Uncle Beaver. <laughs> What's that got to do with going out with Vince? Honey, life is a whole lot like Thanksgiving dinner. So you chew slowly. Auto mechanics aren't nearly as complicated as those grease monkeys that have you believe. This is the distributor cap. You pull that wire there, and the chump won't go any faster than the tow truck in front of him. But if you really want to settle a score, a wad of gum in any one of these spark plug wells, and he'll have a problem no warranty will cover. <laughs> so, Kel, what did you say about Vince? Chew slowly. Oh, yeah. And she said the same thing to me when she found that magazine under my sweaters. Kelly, as previously stated here, the guy's not worthy of your attention. Succinctly put, he's slime. He's a terrible goalie. You're just jealous because he has his own car. True, and he has to sit on a telephone book to see over the dash. I'm telling you, he's not for you. Oh, yes, master. Whatever you say, master. You're acting like a baby. No, this is acting like a baby. No, wait, wait. <laughs> ah! You know, Kevin, this was a very expensive toy. I told you when we bought it that you were going to have to be extra careful with it. Gee, Dad, I was extra careful. I dried it off real good after my bath. <laughs> Farewell, nuclear family. Going to the movies with Chloe. Be back at a reasonable hour. Kelly, wait. Too old to give your mother a kiss goodbye? Sorry, Mom. Hmm. You're still not upset about that date thing, are you? No, Mom, not anymore. Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. baseball the day he would have hit 50 home runs and stolen 50 bases. Is that a lot? <laughs> no, we gotta do something about the cats in the neighborhood. Ah, ah, Wally! This attack happened on your property. If anything's busted, I'll sue. You know this one, Mr. Cleaver? Unfortunately. <sighs> I found him lurking outside the bushes. 
And from the looks of him, I judged him to be a member of the criminal element. How fast can you run, kid? You better hope it's faster than my truck. <laughs> Eddie, what were you doing out in the bushes anyway? I was just cutting a few roses for Kurt. You know what a dozen long stems cost from a florist? <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I had to do something after Kurt found out how those puppies she brought home ended up at a research lab. <laughs> I don't even want to know you anymore. Hey, why is everybody picking on me? Why don't you ask the boy Wonder here what he was doing lurking in the shadows? What's come over me, Mr. Cleaver? A week ago, I was a confident, secure honor student. And today, I've been reduced to skulking about, hoping to catch a glimpse of Kelly pining away in her bedroom. Just like I've been. Kid, you're pathetic. <laughs> Hey, you wouldn't happen to have one of those cute little cut glass faces out. out. Oh, that's okay. Your mom's got a lovely crystal one that Gert's always admired. <laughs> Listen, Josh, I think maybe you're overreacting just a little. You know, girls Kelly's age are sometimes a little flighty. They don't always know what they want. She told me I was dull. Well, she may have a point there. Honey, you could try to be a little more encouraging. Josh, why don't you think of yourself as a tie? Now, some years wide ties are in, and the next year you can't give them away to the Salvation Army. But, uh, tastes change. Know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah! Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Cleaver. This is the best news I've heard since tartar control toothpaste. Boy, is he dull. Kelly, I bet this is the best first date you've ever had. Sure is. So, uh, you keep a diary? Yeah, kinda. Well, I hope you save plenty of room for tonight. What's wrong? I was just getting warmed up. Yeah, me too. It's getting awful late, and I gotta take off this makeup and change before I can go inside, you know. Sure. I understand perfectly. Darn. I must be out of gas. But it says you have half a tank. Must be broken. There's a gas station a few miles down the road. If you run, you could be there and back within half an hour. I know a much better way to spend the next half hour. Try turning the key again. I mean, my dad has this old car. And you just have to keep turning the key and swear a whole lot before it'll turn over. I know. I'll push us back to town. It's only 14 miles. Kelly, what do you think we came out here for? To catch tadpoles? Look, Vince, I really don't think we know each other well enough. That's all gonna change. Right now. No! I... No! Please! Hey, Freddy! What, what luck? I just ran out of gas. Yeah? You look pretty revved up to me. You okay? Okay! She just told me this was the best date she ever had. Freddy, just get me out of here. Hey, Kelly, I'll be happy to take you home. Huh? Vince, old man, that might be a problem. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. I guess it's kind of hard for me to be mad at you for following me. To be frank, I didn't follow you. I've been waiting for hours. The entire locker room knew of Vince's agenda for the evening. I guess you must think I'm pretty stupid, huh? Nah, not stupid. Just in the eighth grade. Why 
Hi, honey. Mm. Hi. Um, Dad. Honey, what's wrong? I, 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 Kelly, <laughs> honey, what's the matter? Kelly. Hi, Josh. It's not raining. Not at the moment, but there is a 20% chance of precipitation. <laughs> Same old Josh. Not necessarily. You see, I've had a lot of time these past few days to think about us and the things you said about me. And I've discussed the matter with my parents and clergymen, and I've come to the realization that I need to develop a more casual approach to life, to live for the moment, as it were. I'm happy for you. I was kind of hoping that with these sweeping changes in effect, you might perhaps consider picking up where we left off. How about if we just start off by walking to school together and take it from there? I'd like that very much. <laughs> 